This tutorial looks at the electrolysis of concentrated brine and shows how it relates to redox reactions, looks at the manufacture of bleach, and the wider implications of the chloralkali industry in the Cheshire area of Britain. Redox reactions are those which involve both oxidation and reduction. And electrolysis is such a reaction, because the half equations that occur at each of the electrodes could be termed as reduction and oxidation. Let's look at the electrolysis of concentrated brine. At the anode, which is the positive electrode, chloride ions and hydroxide ions are attracted. The chloride ions are the ones which get involved in electrolysis and which are discharged. Chloride ions are Cl-. Each of those chloride ions needs to lose an electron to form a chlorine atom, but chlorine atoms can't exist on their own. They must come in pairs. So two chloride ions each need to lose an electron to form chlorine gas, which is discharged at that positive electrode, the anode. Now, because the chloride ions are losing electrons, oxidation is loss. This describes an oxidation process. At the cathode, which is the negative electrode, hydrogen ions and sodium ions are attracted. It's the hydrogen ions here which are discharged. Hydrogen ions are H+. Each of these gains an electron to form hydrogen atom. But again, hydrogen atoms can't exist as atoms on their own. They're H2 molecules. So two hydrogen ions each need to gain an electron to form H2. Here, there's gain of electrons, and reduction is gain, so this one describes reduction. So the electrolysis of concentrated brine is a redox process, one which has got both oxidation and reduction happening. The chloride ions are oxidized to chlorine, the hydrogen ions are reduced to hydrogen. Two of the products of the electrolysis of concentrated brine are used to make bleach. Now there's two types of bleach, peroxide bleach, which is used uh, for dyeing hair, for example, and hypochlorite, or what's called now chlorate bleach. When chlorine is dissolved in sodium hydroxide, we get uh, chlorate bleach being made. And the chemical reaction you need to know in words and in symbols. The formula for chlorine is Cl2. That for sodium hydroxide is NaOH, sodium chloride is NaCl, sodium chlorate NaOCl, and water H2O. And in order to balance the equation, to have two sodiums on each side, we need to put two NaOH there. Over the last few hundred years, a massive industry has grown up around the area of Cheshire based upon sodium chloride, salt, and the products of the electrolysis of salt. This is called the chloralkali industry. Sodium hydroxide, which is one of the products of electrolysis of sodium chloride, is used to make soaps and detergents and used in the purifying of aluminium oxide to make aluminium. Chlorine, when reacted with sodium hydroxide, makes bleach, but chlorine is also used in the production of fibres in PVC, polyvinyl chloride, and in killing the uh, microorganisms in drinking water. Hydrogen, another product of the electrolysis of sodium chloride solution, is used to make ammonia, and it's also used in making, therefore, fertilisers. Hydrogen is also used for hardening of the fats in order to make margarine. Lever Brothers, now called Unilever, are based around Port Sunlight and they have uh, traditionally made soaps and detergents but now are involved in all sorts of other industries. Pilkington Glass, which is based in St Helens amongst other places, uses sodium carbonate, which is made by uh, using salt and ammonia. Then there's Brunamond, which make uh, sodium carbonate and sodium hydrogen carbonate, again using salt. Ineos, which used to be PVC, uh, based around Runcorn, makes chlorine, sodium hydroxide, PVC, and other halide compounds, uh, for example, fluorine compounds and bromine compounds. 
Companies such as this are big employers in the Cheshire area. Uh, not only for the electrolysis of brine, but also for the other ancillary industries based upon the products of electrolysis, such as the manufacture of soap, detergent, glass, ammonia, bleach, paper, aluminium, PVC and various other fibres and textiles, all based around the products of electrolysis of salt. Here's an exam question. Sophie investigates passing an electric current through sodium chloride solution. The diagram shows the apparatus she uses. Look at the list. It shows the particles in the sodium chloride solution. Sophie finds that the solution conducts electricity. Explain how a solution of sodium chloride can conduct electricity. The ions are able to move so electrolysis can occur and it's the electrolysis that allows the electricity to uh, pass through the solution. Sodium atoms Na lose electrons to make sodium ions Na+. How many electrons does each sodium atom lose? Well it loses one electron because electrons are single negative charges so if we've gone from Na to Na plus it must have lost a negative charge. At the cathode hydrogen ions H plus gain electrons to form hydrogen gas H2. Write down the equation for this electrode reaction using E minus to show an electron. Well we start off with H plus ions H plus and we end up with H2. In order to do that we must have two hydrogen ions which have each gained an electron to make H2 such as that. Here are the answers. You can see that in the first question, although the idea was that it would conduct electricity because the ions move, there are various other explanations that you can use. For example, the migration of ions to various electrodes. Note it's not the electrons moving, it's the charged particles or the ions which are moving. And in the second uh, part we looked at uh, the answer is one yes one electron being lost uh, and also here's the equation that I wrote but various other ones are allowed um, but only for less marks so if you make an error in balancing the equation you will lose one of the marks